Hello guys, good morning, good morning, it's Mega Ryan and I'm back with a really cool trade, really, really good 10 minute trade, done for the day, really quick, so um, I traded AMC, actually it was not in my list, I just saw it, like a lot of people are talking about it, it's it's weird because I'm not seeing it in my list, uh, it's not showing in, uh, it's not showing its float in Finbis, that's why it's weird. So I have this level here, um, 2750, just in case it's too extended as you can see, but if it's gonna, if it's gonna, if it's gonna do a breakout of 2750, it needs a really good volume and a lot of buyers. But the thing is, it's overextended. It's really, really overextended. Uh, really, I don't have anything, but kind of like short buys in this one, but I have this 2750 here just in case. So as you can see here um what happened so it opened a little higher a uh, little bit higher on the view app opened here so sells off a bit and actually it was it was really good i was kind of really close to buying it somewhere here it was it was strong it was strong at first minute but as you can see here um it break out this pre-market high it did break out pre-market high which is was it pre-market high i don't know why is there a blue one in here oh yeah this is pre-market high of this so i thought i was actually going to break do a breakout of 27 uh this actually was a good one minute or but you know, it only went to 20 and then when it rejected 27 uh rejected 27 large wick volume is crazy so I kind of used the the open as a as, this, as a stop, but I got in a bit late on entry. So entry was twenty. Good. So my entry was twenty six seventy. So my stop will be somewhere at twenty seven. I think I did thirty cents on this thirty cents thirty cents stop. To profit here really quick, even here real quick. And then, uh, yeah, I, I haven't taken a lot. I was actually holding <laughs> over here. And then I thought it's going to reverse back and stop me out and eventually make a new, uh, new high at 37. I thought that's what I was, it, I thought that's what it's going to do. But eventually it dropped again, took a little bit more and then took majority of it here. Uh, and then all out here. Yeah. Because I rejected the previous day close and really before if it's going to break the previous day close it needs to consolidate a lot maybe in 26 area and then touch down again to 25.50 it will take a while because the volume that happened here was crazy even the second minute was a lot more it's 1.5 million second was a second candle was actually a lot more than the first candle so I'm really glad about that entry. I know it's all they're all about VWAP. Everything's about VWAP, but you know you can use always use the opening price and stop and stop out. And as you can see in the daily, it was just it's just too extended. So I had a little bit more uh, like edge of winning in a short than the long. But actually, previous day close was actually a good uh, long for a long bounce actually. Just play around with 25 50 and 60 so that's about 50 cents either you can use 30 cents or 25 cents of, out of it you can easily get a good two percent move uh within this range yeah so really nothing it's friday it's a good day uh yeah let's let's watch but for everything else you know what to do subscribe to my channel and follow me in my social media accounts yep yeah so i was watching mc and actually XPIF, so these two stocks, uh, MC ATR is about two dollar one cents. Okay, market open. Let's look. As you can see here, uh, look at the volume. It's really, really good volume. So there's twenty seven area here. Uh, I was actually really hoping to enter in this one. I thought I was really going to enter it this area here for a long but still we're just within the 30 second of the first minute of the first minute candle so that's why I hesitated to enter long because that's where you lose more money so I waited a bit okay opening price is 
2694, you can see there. So there's 27, kind of high of day. As you can see here, 2699, high of day. Volume's about 1.2 million uh, for uh, XPEV. There's really no volume. That's why I just ignored it. Like almost 21,000 in the first two minutes. Okay, there you go. So I'm looking at 80 here, 80 and 27. So that's about 20 cents, 30 cents kind of area range. There you go. A lot of people jumped in in there. Volume came in as well, but I was like, uh, it's it's good thing good thing I was late entering. I almost got in at twenty seven. So there you go. When I saw a rejected eighty area, got in. I filled at twenty six seventy. So about ten cents late for that risking uh twenty seven. Right there, it took profit really quick. That's yeah. I didn't get even filled in this one. It's just it was just too fast. It was too fast but i caught uh, i got almost half here uh so this was actually just 25 percent. this is 10 percent, 25 percent. i still have i still have a, a good amount of shares in there was waiting and waiting so i was kind of using 45 a high of this candle here of so 25 or 50 so that's area if it goes above that it's probably going to go back to my break even i took more profit in there i just took another 25 percent or another 25 percent here 80 cent move 90 cent move take more come on take more yeah so i took majority of it there yeah so and i let it go i think i still have uh, how much I still have about about ten percent in there actually. Yeah, ten percent. Ten to seven percent. I said I'm gonna hold it to previous day close. If not, I'm gonna add, but I just you know, forgot to add in there. I was just too happy with whatever I have. It was a really good trade. Just like that. And I said, Oh, you should touch previous day close. Come on, touch previous day close and it did not. And yeah, I was out. Just like that, really quick, uh, nine minute trade actually, or eight minute trade. Um, it's Friday, I'm gonna stop trading. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, posting late trades because um, I, I have to go to work every day for three days. So maybe today, I'm not sure if I'm going to work like, physically in the office today. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. It was a really good trade. I'm really happy with it. Uh, nothing really fancy today. I thought like the watch list was just boring. Nothing really to watch. I'm glad I was you know looking at Twitter and everything, and people are like, okay, Twitter, it, Twitter is gonna move again. Everybody's thinking of long actually in Twitter. Yeah, so that is that's about it. Eventually, let's look at AMC where it is now. Maybe let's just fast forward this until the end of my recording. Yeah, I think it over around uh, 26 or something. Yeah, I gotta go prepare for work, make breakfast. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. This is probably the shortest recap I did for the week. It's a very quick day. All right, see you guys next week. Bye. Please subscribe.